YouTube, it's Christabel here and today we're watching Killing Eve season 1 episode 6. Episode 5 was a good one. Um, randomness was going on. Eve had a date with Villanelle. I'm calling it a date because there was food, there was dinner, freaking she undressed the bitch, sniffing her aroma and shit. That's a date. I haven't done that with somebody and not called it a date so yeah um it was really weird and as afraid as she appeared to be i do think she's still very much like intrigued by her and all of that um frank's dead um i didn't expect him to die for some reason he sort of had nine lives i thought he was going to get out of it but um uh, yeah he died fidanel killed him and took his knob off what is that? Is that a like calling card? Does she like to keep like, I don't know, tr treasures, little keepsakes or some shit. But yeah, she took his knob off. Um, so we found out that Kenny is the son of Carolyn, which is just like cute the way they did that. This, I love the dry humor in this show, which you don't really get to experience much because of the gore and all of that stuff. But yeah, I liked that. Um, the way they drop the way they drop that um so yeah he's dead we're gonna find out if we can you know where they at with that so let's just crack on if it's your first time here please do like comment or subscribe let's get it nadia is still alive she okay. drove over that bitch twice mm -hmm. don't fiddle with that how You're did she survive when you're inside, you have to find a way to see the doctor, okay? That's important. I know you're nervous. You're not nervous. I know you're nervous, but you don't have to be. You go in, you find the doctor, kill Nadia, and come out. And what if someone recognizes me? They won't. It's been years since you were here. You will collect me afterwards? I swear in my heart. So how the hell did she get back Just to Russia? Days. Without help from you, Mr. I don't Constantine. I will see you tomorrow. I would think this is a setup too. How does she end up all the way back in Russia? Giving yourself up, like voluntarily, to the incarcerated must be going against all her judgment. Enjoying this? Oh dear. Maybe she did that to get herself in with the doctor. I want to see the doctor. That doesn't work. I think you need a reason. No one needs to fuck you up. No, we don't know where Oksana um, Villanelle is. Her name is Nadia Kadomsova. Russian intelligence picked her up near Bletchum and took her out of the country. Wait, hold on. Are we calling Villanelle Oksana now? It's her real name. So Nadia was the other assassin with Villanelle. She's been taken to a prison outside Moscow, the same one Villanelle was in three years ago. All of us? I'll, I think I'll let, I'd I'll let you guys go here. on, go in on. In case you need oh, yeah. anything from the Don't place. Don't get in the way after this. Oh, yeah. Hey. Wasn't he at Bill's funeral? Listen, we're making progress. Oh, good. Hmm. How many more people have to die before you complete this level? Oh, wow. Yeah. Come on, wow. that's not a wow, wow. that's You're a so angry. valid I mean, question. Angry. I'm scared. I don't want to wake up to your face on one of those. Ooh. That's a bit much. Go down on yourself. 
Mm. But you don't want that in your life. If you've got some nerve, you need to cut your husband a bit more slack. Because, girl, going on like he shouldn't give a shit. So, Nadia was at the same prison as Oksana at the same time. She got an early release for good behavior. How long have you known Vladimir? Huh? Beyond forever. We've been counterparts for about 10 years. Okay. He was pouncing us the moment we arrived. Why would he give us access to Nadia? Good old traditional tit for tat. And when you say tit, it's an expression. Yeah. Meaning I'll give him something in return. Yes, I know. It, 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 it was, was a very English expression. It's not wise. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. I just thought it was a very well known expression. Oh, I wish you could just be me. But America is keeping us on our toes. You can trust this guy. Who is it? Oh, I think you may have heard of him. Ah. My good associate, Konstantin Vasilyev. Good evening. Konstantin. Eve Palastri. Mm. And look at you. I wish I won my lipstick too now. Oh. It was, uh, <laughs> where do frogs go? <laughs> a pond? Yes, a pond! It was a pond! Why did you take Nadia Gatomsvel? She's more of a friend. Oh, well, now she's rather friendly with us. She told us that she was helping Frank Hilton. We were sad we didn't get to speak to him. Well, we did get to speak to him. Do you have a name for this organization? Yes. What is it? Um, I just set up a meeting with Nadia tomorrow morning, and we will give you the name and everything else we got from Frank. Just give us Nadia. It's not appropriate. When Constantine will interview her, you can see for yourselves via video link. Uh, no, I want to interview the girl with Eve. And what is so special about Eve? Another female operative broke into my house and attacked me. What? Really? What did she want? Mm. Dinner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, their conversations are something we can share with you, too, if you're interested. I have to go. You get in a vibe. One interview. But you go with them. I don't know what to make of that. I don't like him. Hmm. Oh, that's all right. Just wishes he was higher up the... No. The other one. Constantine. I don't like him. Oh. What? How do I work in there? Can you scrub potatoes? Yes. You can scrub a toilet then. Oh, God, you just want to see me bending over. Ah! You know me so well. Hopefully, they get to her before she does. That close, really. Why are you here? I'm spontaneously violent. Hmm. We will be friends. Okay. Bitch. You can't control all the fun. I'll be listening from the other room. Uh, it's better with just the women. Mm. The fact she's even on crutches is a fucking miracle. Never mind her life. Half your shit should be idea. broke. We're from the British Intelligence Service. We want to ask you some questions about your recent trip to Bletchley. Terms, what can we give you? We can secure your release from this prison. We can have you transported back to the UK where you'll be protected. Seems like we can. If you give us information. So how about we strike a deal? You give us something now, so that we can verify you. If the information proves useful, then in a few days, we'll have you removed from the prison. We'll take you to the embassy, continue the interview there. 
tell us about Oksana? She's not happy that you brought that name were up. Were you friends when you were here together? It was meant to be me. What was? He was meant to take me. She wanted to meet him. To be sure I was safe. Because she loved me. She played you. I don't know what she did to him, but he took her. If you want to know about Aksana, you need to find him. They're coming to the room. The sound is not working in there. Please carry on. What do we need to find? Tell us. You said it was a man. Anna, who? The reason she was here in the beginning. Nadia, Anna, who? Tell them. Do it. No. Please, you are my friend now. I will get shit for it. No. I started it, I promote you. Say I told everyone you were a big, tasty lady, but your fanny smells. <laughs> That was immoral. What? Offering her something we can't give her. You don't know what I'm able to offer her. I do. You certainly don't. It doesn't matter. You won't do it. Not his information. She won't give it up without immunity and safe passage back to the UK. You are joking. She has names. I know it. What is the name of this organization? The Twelve. I cannot sanction it, and you know that. You, you don't have the authority? Do not test the limits of my authority, Carolyn. And I will not test yours. He will change his mind. We just need to find something for him to nibble on. It must be, come on, apparent that she just switched up as soon as he came in the room. You were certainly committed to getting yourself in here. Constantine said you prefer English these days. Do you remember the room they call the home? Vividly. Good. When the job is complete, get yourself put into the home for 9 p.m. tomorrow. Constantine will meet you. It's a lot of trust. The target is in wing B, cell 21. Sid. I don't like Vlad either. Oh, he's a good one. Really? Then how can we convince him? I mean, he's got to have something we can, you know, tug on, so to speak. Leave him to me. I know. We're not the most obvious match. But the man is extraordinarily agile. Thought he'd given me the information. He hadn't, but I had to protect my source, so I let them believe it. He's never forgiven me. Hmm. Who was your source? Constantine. No one believed it wasn't Vlad. Poor Ajav Vlad. Huh. <laughs> so Poor Bendy. Vlad. God, I'm, I'm sorry I don't like your boyfriend. So you don't like your husband? <laughs> what? Yeah. Mm, that's right. You can still love him. Touché, bitch. For me, it was always the ones that I liked the least that I loved the most. Maybe it was the fact that I loved them made me dislike them so much. Oh dear, I'm bordering on the profound. She is the wife of the man Oksana murdered and, um. Castrated? Yes, six years ago. Okay. Say the shit. Um, Come on, boy. I also need you to look into any private correspondence between uh, Konstantin Vasiliev, V-A-S-I-L-I-E-V, a member of Russian intelligence here. Anything on him at all? And who? Your mother. I thought you was going to say that. Sorry. I'm going to just... <laughs> Uh, 
Yes. Give it to me. Give it to me now. No. her to us and we will release your sleeper agent who helped Frank and I swear if we get a lead it is yours to chase no he's yours making promises that they can't house. actually keep I, I, I don't give a shit about that I just could ask somebody about. but have you got authority Why? for that Eve because one of them is a little prick and she's keeping me up at night I know it wasn't you who told Carolyn about the plutonium wow you're just giving up I know who her source was and I can prove it He's one of yours. Well, that one's been bothering him for a minute, so... She's not gonna go back to her cell. Come on now, girl. Under her bed, her pillowcases. I, I, I've got to come up with something. You kind of betrayed Hel um, Carolyn there. In her neck. Need a hand? <laughs> what Constantin? He's working with the British. He's helping them get me out. Was it an Asian woman with amazing hair? <laughs> Are you going to kill me? <laughs> no. Um. Why are you asking these difficult questions? This again. But I do have to be quick. You really running checks on your mum? What? I found something from Constantin. What? Some letters. What sort of letters? My girl's got to trust Constantine, boy. Because I tell you, I ain't breaking into no prison to do a hit and then get put in the hole and just, what, wait to be taken out. got a lot of information that I suppose he doesn't want out there. Hmm. Hello? Uspokojitelne sredstva. Mm. Okay. Let me out. Where is he? Kto? Konstantin. Konstantin. Konstantin is coming. Константин, кто? Okay, it's a double cross. Just, to trust him on that was crazy. I've never broken into a prison, especially not in Russia. So it's a double cross. About time you deserve a little bit of bad luck, man. But bad play on your part, girl. Damn. I don't know who's with who. I'm confused. So Helen is friends with both Vlad and Constantine. She's got letters. We don't know of what content with Constantine. Constantine is double-crossed. 
uh, Villanelle or Oksana and put her back in prison, the prison she broke out of. The son, Kenny, is doing checks on his mama. I'm like, what's going on? Who is working with who? Who's doing what? The levels, the layers, it's getting very um, convoluted and confusing. Um, but good to see Eve somewhat making some progress there and that she's got like independent thought. I'm a big advocate for independent thinking and as much as it's going against the boss, she's got questions there that she wants to answer or get answered and whatever relationship Carolyn has with these guys, I don't think it would compromise her position but I'm glad that Eve is asking those questions. Also glad that um, Constantine has double crossed Villanelle because she's so cocky with it, she's so always one step ahead that it's good to see her on the back foot and I'm kind of interested to see how she's going to get out of this one or will Constantine need to rescue her because of some shit that is going to come on his neck, who knows but good episode, very confusing, more questions now than I had before um, but yeah, good episode, it's getting messy, it's getting yeah, it's getting messy. I'm going to watch that again in editing just to see if there's any bits and pieces that I've, I've missed out and I can pick up on. But yeah, the wires, the lines, all of that shit is blurry. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. That was episode six, Killing Eve. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please do like, comment or subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers before the new year, which might now be a bit of a ask. But if you haven't, smash that like button. Just 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 touch it. Peace and love. Bye.